Hey everyone, welcome back to the No Buds About It YouTube channel. Um, we are going to talk about T. Higgins signing his extension yesterday. I was super busy yesterday and wasn't able to get this video out, but it is 4.30 a.m. here and I'm still making the video, so let's get into it. But before we do, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. For those new to the channel, I am Josh Butts of No Butts About It. That's right. And uh, I'm a huge Bengals fan. That's one of the teams we primarily cover. My co-host, Chuss, who's usually on during the regular season, is a Steelers fan. We've got Jets and Giants content, so make sure to subscribe. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today, we are talking about the fact that T. Higgins has signed his extension. Now, if you watch the Ted Karras video, I did say... You know, if T. Higgins um, signs his franchise tag, I, I'm going to call it an extension on accident, I'm sure, but it's a franchise tag. If he signs his franchise tag, um, that would be big news, but it's not super shocking to me. It wasn't, this isn't bigger to me than the Ted Karras thing from a shock perspective. I think we all knew this was coming. Um, and as much as I love T. Higgins, um, this just seems like the right move for both him and the Bengals, and I'm really glad that he got it done. What is surprising to me is that it happened this early on. I mean, we've been hearing all offseason that T. Higgins wants a trade. He's sad. He wants to leave the team. The Bengals haven't treated him well. You know, all that um, hullabaloo that we were also hearing about Trey Hendrickson, that he also wanted a trade. He also wanted an extension. And now Trey Hendrickson is back at camp with the Cincinnati Bengals. And so is T Higgins. That's the big thing about signing it this early is that T Higgins can return to camp. Um, actually he can be at mandatory training camp before training camp even starts. Um, that that's different from the Jesse Bates situation. We've been comparing this to the Jesse Bates situation. And a lot of people thought this was going to go down the same path, myself included of him not signing till late in the training camp. And that, that does hurt the team that hurts when you can't have uh, Jamar and T Higgins at training camp together. When you can't have uh, T Higgins around these other new guys like Jermaine Burton or younger guys like Andre Yoshivas, uh, I really am happy that T Higgins is going to be there to help those guys get into the NFL and also to help continue building that rapport with Joe Burrow because that is so important coming in to the NFL season to have that rapport, that chemistry built. And they've played together, obviously, for the last however many years, but still just getting all that rust off early in camp. This is really exciting. I don't think T. Higgins enjoys being the type of person who is in a drama-filled NFL storyline of holding out and stuff like that. I don't know him personally. I've never met him. But you can just tell from his interviews when he was asked the questions, he seemed kind of uncomfortable. He didn't want to say anything bad about Joe Burrow. He didn't want to say anything bad about the Bengals. He just wanted to play football with his guys and his questions were very simple. Well, now he gets to answer these questions with a smile on his face because for one year, at least he will still be a Cincinnati Bengal. They can still get an extension done uh, in a, They have about a month to do that. If they decide to do that this season, I don't see it getting done, but I am very happy that T Higgins will be there to even just for one season. If it, helps Jermaine Burton um, become that person in the NFL that he's going to be that super talented guy helps kind of uh, relegate those off field issues or those uh, I guess emotional issues that we've talked about Jermaine Burton having in college having T there can help that that could be huge um, I also like that we aren't going to just be throwing Andre Yoshivas in at wide receiver two now um i love yoshi but going from wide receiver five effectively behind trenton Irwin at wide receiver four to wide receiver two over the course of one season seems like a big jump 
And this also allows us some versatility with Mike Gusecki, who we've talked about is probably going to take some of those Tyler Boyd snaps from the slot. It allows us to put Jamar Chase in the slot as well. And we just have that full wide receiver room that has so much talent now. We don't have to worry about any of this. Um, the chemistry is going to be there. We've got Jamar Chase, obviously, with that extension. Let's get that done this season. But this extension, see, there I go. That This franchise tag isn't anything huge from a, oh, my gosh, I'm shocked that he is going to be a Cincinnati Bengal. It is a big deal, though, because he is going to be at training camp to help Jermaine Burton and Andre Yoshivas. And I think they are going to be the two primary people who see the most growth from this situation. Joe Burrow has already played with T. Joe Burrow can make any wide receiver look better. And it helps T out as well because it's going to allow T to be the best version of himself. And if T is planning on going into free agency next season, he is going to want to have the best season of his career this year. And there's no better quarterback to do that with than Joe Burrow to show other teams, hey, look at what I can do. Look at what I've done for the Bengals as a wide receiver too. Now I'm going to come to your team and be a wide receiver one. Um, obviously, I love T. I have no desire to see T go. I I'm just looking at what is probably going to happen in the future. But as for now, let's just get excited that T Higgins is still a Cincinnati Bengal and will be for one more season. Let's enjoy this possible final season with T Higgins as a Cincinnati Bengal. And let's just go get that ring until next time. Go do something nice for someone. And please remember to like comment and subscribe.